Well, it's hard to believe, but it's been 50 years since the start of the Giant Panda Conservation Program at the National Zoo. The giant pandas were a gift from China, and guests have been watching the panda family grow ever since. News Force Derek Ward looks at the impact of the program and how it continues on 50 years later. They were the D.C. couple back in the spring of 1972. Fifty years ago this week, Sing Sing and Ling Ling arrived from China, a goodwill gesture amid hopes of warming relations between that country and the U.S. Fast forward 50 years and their successors, Mai Shang, Chen Shen, and baby Xiao Qi Ji, who's hiding somewhere, they may all be out of politics, but they're still influencers. I often refer to pandas as the poster child for conservation, you know, the, the, the positive efforts that we've put forth for conservation that have actually made a difference. They've come back from the brink of extinction, though they're still vulnerable. There are only about 1,800 of them in the wild. They're not out of the bamboo woods yet, but, uh, but we're certainly in a better place than we were. And here at the National Zoo, they can still draw a crowd for obvious reasons. They're just cute. Researchers have learned and shared volumes about panda behavior and health. Not only has the panda's presence here been a benefit for that species, it's benefited just about every animal there. And the crowds at the concessions are helping research and conservation efforts with other animals that might not be as cuddly. At the Smithsonian National Zoo, Derek Ward, News 4.